Let's talk about Bud Crawford's response to what Canelo Alvarez been saying in the media in regards to not fighting Terrence Crawford. Let's talk about it, man. I'm going to let y'all hear the audio of everything that Bud had to say. We're going to break it down and we're going to answer some questions like, does Bud really believe he could beat Canelo? Or is Bud Crawford just trying to get a payday? We're going to really talk about this. Uh, but before we do, make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook on all of this. So we all know that Bud, he didn't made it clear on several occasions that his fight that he wants, basically his retirement fight, he want to fight Canelo Alvarez, and he want to do it next. So he's let the whole world know that for quite some time now, ever since after he beat Errol Spence. Now, a lot of people weren't taking him serious. I was one of the ones that was like, man, Bud tripping. He can't go mess with Canelo moving up three weight divisions. I've always, I always was one of the ones that thought that. But now Canelo Alvarez, he coming out talking about some, I'm not fighting Terrence Bud Crawford. If you want me to fight him, you got to pay me $150 million. He's also saying things like, well, I might consider fighting Terrence Crawford if he fights Teofimo Lopez. So Canelo is just basically saying he's not going to fight Terrence Bud Crawford under no circumstances. He's making a million excuses. Now people like myself are starting to wonder, can Bud Crawford really beat Canelo? Does Canelo even believe he can beat Terrence Bud Crawford? Why Canelo making all these excuses? What's really going on? And listening to Terrence Bud Crawford speak on the situation, he might have a point to some of the things that he's saying. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the audio with y'all of Terrence Bud Crawford talking about what Canelo Alvarez recently had to say. And let's just talk about it, and then we're going to come back and break it down. Let's let's listen to this, y'all. About the size, and he won't get no credit. And, and so this is Canelo. He's saying he keeps talking about the size, and he won't get no credit. And so I'm going to play it. Hold on. About the size and he won't get no credit and and all this uh type of things but canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career canelo been um making his own catch weight for years true you know canelo fought a smaller mayweather canelo true. fought a smaller um a mirror uh, um, not mirror Khan, but uh, uh, yeah Amir Khan. he did he did at 155 um, yeah Amir Khan. you know um he fought so Jamel Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with all those guys except Mayweather. Even even Berlanga right now that he will with me. But yet and still, you know, he, he have all these excuses why he don't want to take a fight with me. If it's if it's all about business, then you doing good business. If I'm if I'm easy work, I heard him say I'm easy work. If I was easy work, but you know you would take all that money that 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 he's offering you. But yet and still, he want two hundred million for for Benavidez, and he want a hundred and fifty million to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168 your weight no catch weight no none of that and dethrone you so you know he got that in the back of his head you know this 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 guy for one he's tough for two he's a boxer he moves he can punch he can do he can do it all i can't slip up and lose to this little guy then what what will my fans think of me what will my my uh my Mexican uh, people think of me. So, you know, it's a big risk for him. Like he said, he don't get nothing out of it, but he does get a lot of it out of it. You know, none of those guys was pound for pound best fighter in the world that he fought when, when it was coming up in weight. None of those guys. 
You know, he wasn't getting the amount of money uh, through at him guaranteed for those guys that he's getting with me. Hmm. Does Bud Crawford have a point to what he was saying? Well, before I get into if I think that Bud got a point or not, let's do something, right? Because this will tell you a lot more if Bud has a point than anything I could say, right? Let's just go back and look at the opponents that Canelo Alvarez has faced since he took his last L to Bavar. Because a lot of people looking at, you know, Canelo demanded $200 million to fight David Benavidez and Canelo demanding $150 million to fight a much smaller Terrence Bud Crawford is he just not going to take any more risk in his professional boxing career because he don't want to feel like he did when he took them L's against Floyd Mayweather and Bavall. So ever since he fought Bavall, what did he do? He fought a 40-year-old, washed-up, Gennady Golovkin that had to move up to a division he had refused to fight at his whole career. Then he fought a career journeyman in John Ryder, you know what I'm saying, that already had like five losses. Then he fought Jamel Charlo, somebody that had to move up two weight divisions, coming off a 17-month layoff and a major hand surgery. Jamel Charlo. Then he fought Jaime Munguia that's been cherry-picking and ducking the top fighters his whole career. Now he's fighting Edgar Belanga, a prospect. That Edgar Belanga ain't, he's still a prospect because who can Edgar Belanga beat that got a name? Edgar Belanga, I mean, Edgar Belanga's out here struggling with C minus level competition. So when you look at it, now you ask yourself, okay, well, if you're fighting these guys, right, that have no business in the ring with you, you don't have no problem fighting these guys. You're still making $30, $40 million. Why would you fight Terrence Bud Crawford, make way more than even what you're making with these fighters? And he's a smaller fighter. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why you're not fighting Terrence Bud Crawford and David Benavidez, Terrence Crawford believes, is because they are threats. They threats. And especially Bud Crawford because he said, if you lose to him, you're going to be looked at like a disgrace. You're not even going to be able to look at your countryman in the face because they're going to be pointing the finger. Like, how did you get beat by a guy that had to come up three weight divisions that started his career at 135 pounds? And you let him beat you? After all the shit you jump in the ring and talk, after all the interviews that you do, talking about you the best in the world, you let a small Terrence Bud Crawford come up and beat you? So he's saying that he believes that Canelo Alvarez has those thoughts in the back of his mind. I can't lose to no guy this small. That would be the end of my career. I wouldn't even be able to look myself in the face if I lost to him. So you know what? I'm not taking it. I'm not taking the fight for no amount of money. So what do I do? I ask for $150 million pricing yourself out. That's all he doing. So I think that Bud, after listening to him, man, he had a good point to everything that he was saying. And one thing that I know about Bud Crawford, man, is he smelled pussy in Canelo Alvarez. And Bud is the type of man that if you show him any type of weakness, any type of fear, he gonna take advantage of that. And Canelo Alvarez, with these antics that he's doing when it comes to David Benavidez and Terrence Bud Crawford, I smell it. Y'all don't think Bud smell it? He afraid to lose, man. He can't take that criticism. He can't take another L, man. And y'all can say, I'm just running my mouth if you want to. But all you got to do 
is look at the last of five opponents that he getting in the ring with after taking the L to Buval. Tell you everything you need to know. You know, tell you everything you need to know. But that's how I feel about the situation. Do I still think that Canelo Alvarez will get his ass beat by Bud Crawford? No, but then again, how am I going to believe in Canelo if he don't really believe in himself when it comes to certain competition? I can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. So with that being said, I always said that Bud would go in there and get his ass knocked out. But now I'm saying that Bud got a very good chance of beating Canelo because he smelled that in him. Yeah. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Drop a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. I slide, glide, choking on that lethal. Two miles per hour so everybody sleeps.